Hi, I'm Lisa Gandera. I'm the reigning Mrs. California United States. And today I'm here to show you, introduce you to my new best friend, my airbrush from Hollywood Air. I don't leave the house without this every morning because it gives me a flawless foundation with not a lot of product on my face and it lasts me all day. So I'm gonna share this with you and show you how to use it. First, what I want you to do is pick up your airbrush. I'm gonna turn it on. You're gonna hold the airbrush in your hand very lightly between your fingers just like a pencil, but I want it very light because you're gonna to need to uh, circular motion with your hand. So I'm gonna take off my little top and put a couple of drops of my color foundation in here and that's available in a wide range of colors for everybody. Then I'm gonna pull back on the depressor just a tiny bit just to get a little test, make sure there's no other color in there but what I want. Very gently like this, around in circles, almost brush stroke, but very gently to cover all the areas that I need. And like I said, let's start off small with just a little bit of product because we can always build up. There we go. A little hair on my cheeks. I have a little, uh, my little discoloration on my cheeks and my nose. It will tend to be a little redder. But what I want is I want coverage, but I want it to look natural. So I want to start off with just a little bit. And now I'm going to move into my nose so you can see my nose is a little red. And I don't mind a little bit of pink, but I want it to be covered a tiny bit. So I'm going to move in here with small circles. I want to look glowing. I'm going to use a beautiful pinky color, little rose. I'm going to use this color for my lips, for my cheeks, and a little bit on my eyes. I'm going to put a little bit of the color in the bowl, put the top back on. And then I'm going to test it on my hand to make sure I'm getting the pink that I want. Perfect, none of my foundation color is left in there. So I'm gonna start on my cheeks, I'm gonna smile, and I just want the apples of my cheeks so that it looks like I was kissed by the sun. Or a frosty day, whatever you'd like, like I've been walking through the cold. But there, see how pretty that is? Just on the apples, and I've moved up under the cheekbones just to give myself a little highlight. So now I look rosy. I'm gonna put this a little bit, I'm gonna use this on my crease, just a little inside here. I just want a little color, a little pink, look at that, very pretty. On this side, I'm using a windshield wiper motion. It's just like a windshield, because I can get on there what I want and moving back and forth. There's a little pink. There we go, got the pink. Now I have a stencil that's gonna help me um, put my lip color on. And I'm going to use this side, I'm going to put it right under my lips. And I'm going to get closer to my lips because I want more of a jolt of color here. So the closer I get, the more product comes out in an intense manner. There's the bottom. I'm going to find what looks right for my lips for the top. I'm going to put it up here. Let that little cupid go right there. There we go. Now I'm just going to fill it in a little bit. There you go. So I'm going to use this highlighter above my cheekbones. Just to highlight, look at that, it's beautiful champagne. Just a little bit in a back and forth motion because that's the way I want it to look on my face. Back and forth. I'm going to use it in my brow bone right there, just a tiny bit. And you see that I'm closer to my skin because I want more of an intense color. I'm just pulling back on the depressor a tiny, tiny bit. And the more you practice, the better you're going to get. And remember, start with a little, and then you can always go heavier. There we go. Then I want to accentuate my little cubie bow lip right here, just a teeny tiny bit. And you can also use the stencil for that. I'm using my hand. So now I've got my eyebrows highlighted, my cheeks highlighted, love it. And then I'm just gonna go one big spray all over my face, just for a little glowing look. So here's the stencil that I like to use for my eyebrows, because I need to fill them in. So I'm going to put it right up against my face, because I want to bring that line down. I'm going to fill that in right there. Perfect. See how that's filling that in? And remember, start off small because you can always go in, go in heavier. I'm going to move the arch up because I want the arch right here. I'm going to fill the arch in. So I'm actually lifting the stencil off my face. See? And moving it to the position I want it. I'm making the stencil work for me. And of course the airbrush gives you precision, precision aiming. 
so you get the color where you want it. And I find this to be a more natural look than a pencil. So there's this side of my eyebrow. I'm going to flip it around so I can do the other eyebrow. There we go, right there. See how that goes on very nicely? I want the arch, very accentuated. There we go. And move down, look at that. Move down into fill out that area. There we go. If I need a little more, I just turn it around. There we go. There are the eyebrows. And I also like to use this color as my eyeshadow, as my eyeliner. So I'm just going to put a teeny tiny bit underneath the eye. Right there. Perfect. Just a little bit. I don't want too much. I just want a natural look that's going to take me all day. Put a um, little bronze for my eyeshadow. Fill up my bowl, put my top back on, check my color. Perfect. And this is all water soluble, so this is just going to come right off my hand. So I'm going to fill in my eyes right here with a little bit of bronze. Look at that. It's just going to give me a very natural look, but add color to my eyes. There we go. I love that. Looks great. I'm going to be able to do this all. I'm going to be able to use this all day. Okay, we're done. So I hope that was under 10 minutes. It sure felt like it. Now I'm going to top this off with a little bit of powder. It's a no color powder. Dip my brush. Just a tiny bit. There we go. That's going to set my color. It's going to set my foundation. It'll get me through all day. And all I'll need to do is touch up my lip gloss. I'm going to put on a little gloss right over this color. You're going to see how this is going to make it pop. Just use it with my finger. Look how beautiful that's made that color. That's all I'll need to do. Now, a little bit of mascara, and I'm good to go. My kids are ready to go to school. I'm ready to start my day. And this is saving me time in the morning, not only saving me time in the morning, saving me time throughout my day because I never have to reapply my foundation. Just a little bit of lip gloss throughout my day and that'll get me through. So I hope you've enjoyed what I've shared with you today. And please don't forget, Hollywood Air, your new best friend.